Hi friends, Mr. Chris back with you again with another Easter craft activity. Today we are making our very own toilet paper bunny. For this craft activity you'll need toilet paper roll, a plate, some more gift wrapping tissue, some glue, a pencil, some different colored paper. See for this particular craft I used pink, black, and white for his nose, his whiskers, and his ears. You will need some cotton balls. So let's get started really quick. A good tip is to have a paper plate down for your working space. Now another thing you can do to decorate the outside of your toilet paper roll is, if you don't happen to have a lot of the wrapping tissue, you can have your children color and decorate with markers or crayons or even paint if they prefer. But uh, for today's example, I'm just going to use some of this uh, wrapping tissue. So what I like to do is first I'll come around like so. Make sure that I have a little bit overlapping that way when I cut off the end, they can overlap on top of each other just like so. And then I fold any leftovers I have a lot left over to cut it off like that. Fold it over. So now that I know that it's going to fit all the way around, I'll just take some glue around the back. I'm going to go all the way around. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build your rabbit from the whiskers up. So when you go to cutting out your whiskers, those will go on first, and then I did the teeth, the nose, and then finally I did the eyes. You'll notice that I have small little scraps of paper because another Mr. Chris tip is to keep scraps of colored paper around for these small little craft activities. That way you don't have to use an entirely fresh new piece of paper every time you do one of these craft activities. So you just cut your whiskers in any length you want. I cut three and crisscrossed them. And again, we're gonna build from the bottom up. So first we'll put one dab of glue on like that. Another dab of glue on, and then we'll do our other whiskers. This little bunny rabbit's is going to just have two whiskers. There we go there. Two whiskers. And now I'm going to put that on its side like so. And I'm going to cut out my bunny rabbit teeth. At every turn, your children may be asking you, does this look right? Does this look right? And I always tell my patients and family friends when they come to do craft activities with me is, if it looks right to you, it's great. Again, we always want to be fostering that uh, expression and that creativity. And uh, oftentimes, when you're really truly allowing your child to be creative, it's not gonna look exactly like the examples. Having said that, just keep in mind that they may be asking you if it looks right. Um, just try and foster them to listen to their gut and see what they think feels right for them. So we'll add another little piece of glue, plop our teeth on there, and I put a little gap in between there, that way it looks like there's two separate teeth. And then, grab a little piece of pink paper here, cut out a little nose. For the eyes, I just came and used a pencil and sketched out two big humps on my paper. Looks kind of like a, uh, a lowercase m. And then I took a pencil, or a marker in that case, and just colored in my two eyes, making them look goofy. Now, it's time for the ears. Again, you'll see here in this example, I just used a scrap piece of paper. I traced out my ears and cut. I originally separated my ears 
one by one when I cut them out, but when I'm doing it now, I'm thinking that if you keep your ears separated, it'll just help you be a little more stable on the back of your bunny wrap. Another trick that I think is gonna be really helpful is keeping in mind, and you can ask your child how far down they want their ears. What we don't wanna do is put a whole bunch of cotton ball on the back of the ears and then try and put it inside of the cup like that. So again, <clears throat> giving children choices where they have them, you can ask them, do you want long ears or short ears for Mr. Bunny Rat? And then from there, that's where you'll know to stop your, your cotton balls, depending on how long or short they want their ears. What we do now, just put a little dab of glue back there like so. Fold the ears up, roll around. We got, we got the beginnings of our ears here. Now it's time to give them some fluff. This just involves breaking up the cotton balls, ripping pieces off, and laying them on the front and the back with glue. All right, friends. There you have it. A Easter time, springtime rabbit craft activity. As always, I just want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by today. I just want to say bye-bye for now.